notice this sat nav seems to be losing track of where it is, where the road is. I wonder if I'm riding so fast that it's actually redshifting the sat nav signals. <laughs> I'm going backwards in time, so it's screwing up the time code. <laughs> or maybe BMW's connected app is just buggy as hell. What do you reckon? And again, look. And again, look, it just suddenly shifted me sideways off the road. Anywho, I hear on the grapevine that there's actually an updated version of this bike's software and uh, we're due for a service, so what I might do is ask them to update it and then we've got a whole other bunch of riding testing the sat-nav um, in order to figure out if it makes that problem go away. Although, to be honest, when I say makes that problem go away, um, that's the first I've noticed it being that bad. This whole issue with um, the connected app or the map view losing where the road is to the point where your bike is shifted sideways on the screen. But there's another reason that I want the updated software because I have seen people on the YouTubes explaining how to program these four buttons which is something at the moment I am unable to do. I've seen the menu choices that they go through to program the buttons and those menu choices don't exist on this bike. Uh, and that self-same video, that, well, the one I'm thinking of, that uh, I saw this, um, is a video mentioning a new software update. So I'm hoping that this new software update actually gives me the long-awaited ability to program these four buttons. Because at the moment, these four buttons are BMW's favourites, not my favourites. And two of them are dedicated to the audio playing, which um, I don't have the audio pack. So they are useless to. So yes, I'm very much hoping that uh, that's a feature that could soon be unlocked on my bike. Anywho, uh, oh, here's uh, oh, they're all locked up. Bentleys and Rolls Royces and stuff. There's a dealership here. How much money is in this neck of the woods when you have a dealership here for Rolls Royce and Bentley? Anywho, as I was about to start saying, the reason the cameras are rolling today on this ride. Um, I guess is a response to another video, not the one telling me that uh, soon I'll be able to program my buttons, but a video released, actually I guess two videos, uh, one of them on the 44 Teeth channel and the other one on the Baron Von Grumble channel. Uh, 
uh, where Chris, who uh, appears on both those channels, has sparked off an interesting and well-needed conversation about people's mental health. I don't know much about mental health, um, but there is someone in my life who struggles with it. And although I don't consider myself to have a particularly serious anxiety problem, certainly not one that causes me to be dysfunctional, I recognise some of the symptoms being talked about. And um, if this sat-nav doesn't sort itself out soon, it'll be one of the things that makes my mental health worse. Um, I guess th those symptoms are things that I guess have uh, had me called lazy during my life. Oh, look at him over there, he's always just sitting at home, playing on his computer games. Why isn't he out enjoying the sun like all the other kids? Or indeed, there he is at home, playing on his computer games. Why isn't he out enjoying the sun like all the other adults? <laughs> well, here I am outside enjoying the sun. Um, but yes, the symptoms of, oh, I don't want to do that because insert various excuses as to why it's inconvenient to overcome certain trivial little hurdles, um, which suddenly present themselves as the end of the world that are getting in the way of you uh, doing the thing you want to do. Um, and obviously these things, uh, in my case, have not stopped me going to work, for instance, have not so stopped me earning a living. Could even be seen as first world problems. As I said, there's somebody else in my life who has suffered from mental health problems. And these mental health problems were very severe diagnosed as severe anxiety and severe depression, resulting in many, many weeks off work, where that work was indeed the cause of the problem, and was basically being a nurse in the NHS. The stresses of the job and the stresses of some individual people at that job. So this isn't necessarily a huge NHS-wide problem, although demanding more and more and more work from these frontline staff for less and less and less real-world pay um, is something that's going to give you a lot of long-term stress. I am constantly asking myself why on earth would you want to be a frontline worker in the NHS? In any time in the last 20 years, why would you do it? And obviously the answer is because you have a vocational calling to do it. But these and many other things resulted in severe mental health issues for this particular person to the point where it did get as dark as it could actually go while this person is still with us today. And so I have reason, I believe, to bring this subject up and to draw attention to an initiative by Chris from the 44 Teeth channel. Which is, I guess, just an awareness campaign and a mutual support campaign. It's called Permission to Talk, uh, where, a bit of a pun on the word talk, it's spelt 
as in Newton meters. But it's an attempt to try and make it seem, first of all, okay to talk about mental health issues, but also as a sign to the people who are suffering from mental health issues amongst the motorcycling community, that they are not alone, that there are people out there who understand that they are going through a whole bunch of shit, even maybe if they don't understand what that shit is, or how bad it can get, or how bad it can make you feel. And so you can get hold of a sticker to put on your bike, or I guess anywhere else you want, for free, although they ask you pay postage and packing, if you go to the 40 to 40th website. You can get one of these permission to talk stickers and put it on your bike to show, I guess, that you're not going to be judgmental about mental health issues. So I have gone and pre-ordered my sticker. Um, it looks like, in my case, they're charging two pounds postage and packing. Um, it's a shame I can't buy two because this bike is on finance so technically I can't customise it in any way because it belongs to the finance company. But the top box is not belonging to the finance company, the top box is mine. And I wanted to put one on each side, um, but I guess demand is such that they're only shipping one per person. Bit of a shame, but there you go. Maybe I could stick it on the back instead of on the sides. I'm not usually one for getting involved in these campaigns, but... But I believe this is a worthy one to get involved in. Even if it's just getting a sticker and sticking it on my bike. So I will stick a link to the 4040th website and maybe the video that I'm talking about, the videos that I'm talking about, in the description. And if you watch the videos and you agree, then maybe you too can go and pre-order yourself a sticker. And it's not even that you're trying to start a conversation when you get out there, it's just, it's just a little symbol that those in the know will be able to notice and go, oh, okay, I, I feel that this community is one that can lend an understanding ear if I need it. Anywho, I guess that's enough talking about that because as I said at the start, I'm not a clinical psychologist so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, I just thought I would uh, put a video up to post the links. Who knows, you know, it might become an international movement. I hesitate to say the word movement because I'm sure Chris wouldn't want it described as a movement, not really. Anywho, go watch the videos so you can hear from him in his own words.